I will be nine years sober on Thursday, March 2nd. Nine years. And I have no plans. So I did the next best thing, which was to go about my normal day, but with some treats added in. This is the year before my big 10, so I knew it would be more low key. So I started my day by putting on pants that weren't jogging pants and went into the office. So I got the nicest surprise this morning. I was in at work in the office, sitting at my desk, and I was like, ah, I want some coffee. Went out, got some coffee, and as I was coming back, um, I see up ahead at the security desk, there's a man with flowers and then the security guard looks over at me and points and he said, that's her. So I was like, what's going on? So I go over and it was a flower delivery. Um, I look at the card and it was from my lovely friends and I was not expecting it at all. Huge surprise and it was awesome. I finish up my work day by working from home where I got to change back into my jogging pants. So I did spend most of this day feeling a lot of things. I posted about my nine year so birthday on social media. So the heart reacts and the comments were steadily rolling in where every single one made me feel a burst of gratitude and real happiness deep inside. And even though it's been nine whole friggin' years, it feels very surreal to me to really think about it. I still remember so very clearly what it felt like to be at my lowest when I was still drinking. Fuck you, because you're telling the truth. Oh, do you want to see what happened? Do you want to Dude. No, it's okay. What are you doing? What are you doing? And I still remember that intense fear of what my life was going to look like once I stopped drinking. So to see where I'm at now, literally all because I made the first step to quit drinking is honestly shocking. So our winter in Nova Scotia so far this year has been very mild. Like we still have green grass mild, but March has brought some snow. And for the first time this winter, it's actually staying on the ground for longer than two days, but that will not stop me from going to yoga. This is me 15 minutes before yoga. And this is me, 10 minutes after yoga. I feel great, relaxed, and ready to drive home in the snowstorm. So, I mean, I'm headed to my nail appointment. It's at 6.30, it's 6.12, and the roads look greasy. Let's see. I inspect you through the futuristic millennium. Tell our base sold 50 gold, 60 platinum. Well, never mind. I just pulled up and it's dark. They're closed because of the snowstorm, even though it's just winter and it's some snow. Like, oh my God, get over yourselves. I don't know. <laughs> and not the nail people, just people in general in Nova Scotia <laughs> over the past, like, I don't know, decade. Remember the 90s, everyone? It snowed a lot. And we still learned to live our lives. Anyway, so I guess I'm not getting my nails done. And that was a nice little self-care thing that I had planned for me to do today, but... That is okay, I can deal with these another couple days, whatever. Well now what do I do? I shoveled the stupid snow instead, which worked up my appetite for an awesome shrimp ginger noodle dish my husband made me. And I finished the night off with some Netflix. I felt a lot of gratefulness and a lot of humble joy on this day. I also felt a lot of extra love for people who were still struggling, which then made me a bit sad because I want everyone I know who was still hurting to feel better and to feel happier. I still have a weird feeling sometimes like guilt that I've achieved some of the big dreams I had for myself when I know some can't and some will never get the chance to. So just like I said in my social media post, if you are struggling, know that you can heal and you deserve to live in real happiness without the guilt and shame that come with addiction. And remember, you can do hard things, you deserve happiness, and you are loved.